Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course on the Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm welcome from me. In this session, we are going to work with the random libraries. As you know, the random libraries are accidental. We can choose random numbers for from a certain range, for instance. That's one of the things we can do with random libraries. We can use a num a number can be chosen. You are probably familiar with this. And then we are going to the string random so that a letter will be randomly chosen for us okay or we can use it to choose a random password as you may have noticed on some websites previously in your previous experience and after that we are going to choose a query randomly for instance in the news uh, let's say we are going to choose 10 news uh, num uh, randomly, names randomly, and show them. You may have noticed the same thing on some sites where they show some posts randomly to the user. We are going to operate with the same system. So, uh, three forms of random. At first, we are going to make a random number. We are going to use the news post to do so. We make a unique random number and save it for each news. And in the main body news page we make a short link we say the name of the site short url slash and uh, you will have access to the news you won't need to uh, if you click right now as you see you can see the name of the news but using a random number we are going to set a short URL so that whatever the address of the site is, it would be a slash the eight character number that is the number that we have set for the news can be accessed this way so that if they want to share it or set it somewhere, it would be better and easier and faster to use. So first, uh, we choose a random number and then uh, we give each post a random and on repetitive number each post or each news in the view panel let's see in the view panel all right what do we need to do in the home page Okay, uh, the back end home, I show it here so that my number is shown after these, or I can print and see it in the terminal. Okay, uh, so to a start, I need to import the library. I say import random. I import the random library. Okay, and then here I say rand equals random dot uh, rand int we want a number as int between 0 and 1 million okay and then I send rand to template okay that's it here I show it Rand. Now every time I refresh I see a random number. Now I see this number. Now this one. And now this one. So random command was very easy to use using the command random dot rand int. We made a random number. Now we want to do two things. First, we want to make the random number more professional by using an algorithm uh, with a better pattern. We are going to improve it a little bit. And any news that is registered, an unrepeated random number will be designated to it. Okay. 
in order to make my pattern more aesthetically beautiful we use date how I say my number should be a date for instance 10 10th 2019 how many numbers are there it would be eight so that would be eight numbers in my code and another four character number would be set next to it to make a 12 digit number okay in the random number that would be the number of my news okay I can know to which date it belongs based on that number and the next four would be a random number like this one we say random and it would be printed between for instance 1000 to uh, 9999 for it to contain four digits it depends on us it can be any di number of digits within a certain range we will choose a random number and set it next to our date and then we use it for our news so that's what we want to do as you notice using the random on its own is not such a complex thing to do we want to make a pattern which is the date and then we set a four digit number next to it for instance 1000 to 9999 and after that uh, what we need to do is we need to check that this number has not been repeated what should we do to make sure that it has not been repeated first we make the random number okay just like we did then using a while ring we are going to check if it exists before or existed before or is a new number if the random number exists in the post then make a new number so that's how we do it through a while ring to make sure that the number is unique or otherwise unrepeated let's see what we can do here I remove these did you realize how random works it's not such a complicated thing now we need to go to let's see news view to do registration and other stuff here we need to import random okay all right now over here what do we do in the news <coughs> all right this is the news date submission the today's date and uh, let's see now here we make the random code and check it out okay how how do we check it out the first thing I need to do here I write date equals okay here it is a string we need to use the string again for them to be next to each other but without a slash or any other extra sign that might interfere with our random number so here I set these I write in year okay month plus day okay that's the string uh, which has been next to each other we need to set them together as a string and at the end turn them to integer or we can save them as a string it depends on how we do it then we say rand int equals random dot rand int a four digit number from 1000 to 9999 a four digit number we need to turn this uh, string to what can you guess we turn this string to add it to the date so it is the string of a random number it will turn to a string and then uh we want rand short for random would be date the date we made here plus rand the part over here okay that's it random okay these two would be added this is the 
random number as I said now we can turn these to int after we have added them all right and in the database save them as an integer or we can save them the way they are as an string in our database it depends on your taste and how you want to do things that's it so later on we'll make a field for the news in the model here in the news model okay the integer form that's it I call it random and initial value would be zero all right I save these first my data base Python manage dot py make uh, migrations okay and then Python manage dot py migrate and then again run server so now my new field has been added in my model under the name brand now what I can do is in the news list here we are showing news list with PK we make it to you change it to RAND and if I check my news right now let's see as you see the ID is zero now when I set the news post I want to do it with a random eight digit number okay we go back to the add section we set them as integer so I say RAND code equals int okay rand I made the variable int and then saved it on its own okay as we said we set a while ring we say while news dot object dot filter based on rand okay that's it filter rand okay equals rand all right I get a len from this I say len of the filter based on the random I get a filter in the news I say as long as this is opposite zero what should happen okay let's see yep that's it this last section should be repeated that is as long as it is opposite zero make random numbers and add them to the number of my date okay until this length is equal to zero and that random number is no longer repeated and then at the end when we submit the news we say ran equals ran yep now I said a news okay and as a test let's see I add a new news let's see if it gets the random number of again the date plus the four digit random number okay and as you see 2910 2019 and a four digit number I add another news let's see what happens now in the news list add another okay well as you see another code is made for me if you pay attention you realize that the numbers are different using the while ring that we set now we are able to have a random number of and a unique one for each news and it will be certainly unique